Hey everybody, it's Jenny Sivy. In the last video, I talked about pressure and how you could calculate airflow if you knew the pressure. And we know we need airflow to make people comfortable, but how do we know how much airflow we need? So we think of HVAC systems usually as making people comfortable, but for an engineer being told to make people comfortable, it's a pretty vague concept. So what engineers are really looking at when they design HVAC systems is the load of the building. How much heat is being generated or lost in the building and how much airflow do we need to offset that to make people comfortable. So let's talk about some load basics. So let's start by looking at what is the load of the building. The space cooling load is the rate at which you have to remove heat from the space to keep it at desired conditions. Basically how much cooling you need to keep it comfortable. Now it's not always comfort, there's other applications like industrial applications, but let's just call it comfort for now. When we talk about comfort, I'm referring to a temperature and humidity range as described in ASHRAE Standard 55, which I'll cover in a future video. When we talk about comfort, people usually think of temperature but comfort is a function of both temperature and humidity. So let's draw a little office space. There's a lot of things that contribute to load. The lights in the space, computers and other equipment in the space, and the people in the space for starters. You may also have a solar load coming through the windows, heat transmission from other spaces that come through the walls, and heat gain from outside air coming into the space through a door or small cracks in the building called infiltration. And although you wouldn't see it as load in the occupied space, the ventilation air and the HVAC equipment itself can add heat and humidity to the total building HVAC system. Let's make a little room. Okay, so you also need to know if the loads are sensible or latent heat loads. Sensible loads raise the dry bulb temperature. This would be like going from 70 to 75 degrees. And latent loads raise the water content of the air. Think of this as the humidity. So looking back at our little office above, we can see that lights don't raise the water content of the air, so they're just sensible loads. Some equipment, like coffee makers, will raise both the sensible and latent load. Radiation and conduction just raise the sensible load. Infiltration is air coming from outside, so that is both sensible and latent load. The ventilation air you bring in from outside is also both sensible and latent load and your HVAC system equipment is just sensible load. Then there's the people in the building. People raise both the sensible and latent load. Did you know that the average person produces about the same sensible heat as a 75 to 100 watt light bulb, depending on what they're doing? All these things can add up to a lot of load to offset with your HVAC system. ASHRAE has a bunch of tables and equations for calculating these types of loads, so I'm not going to go through all of that, but let's make a little bit of room and let's talk about the load equation. To know how much capacity your HVAC system needs, you'll need to know the load of the building. The load equation is the load, Q, is equal to 1.085 times the CFM times delta T. The load in the space that you need to offset with your HVAC system to maintain comfort, Q, is equal to 1.085, which is a constant for buildings at sea level, times the airflow volume, times the difference in temperature between supply temperature and the temperature you want the space to be. Once you add up your loads, you can calculate how much airflow you need. So from your load equation, you know that CFM equals Q divided by 1.085 times delta T. But let's say we calculate that the total load of the space is 20,000 BTUs. And if you're supplying 55 degrees supply air, and you want your space to be 75 degrees, then your delta T is 20 degrees. So let's put this in the equation above. Your CFM is equal to 20,000 BTUs divided by 1.085 times 20 degrees delta T, and you get 922 CFM. So now you know that to handle the 20,000 BTU load of the space, if you're using 20 degree delta T air, then you need 922 CFM. So that's a quick overview of loads and, and the load equation. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.